Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle. If you're new here, you already know what to do. Subscribe. Alrighty. So I'm starting off with just taking down my hair and playing with it. It's a mess. Now I'm taking this comb. Guys, it's so important to brush your hair every day. I know it's slept on, but you have to do it. So I'm going in with this type of conditioner and this conditioner releases color into your hair and it kind of just stains your hair because I wanted a more orange feel as you can see my front pieces were really really blonde and I wanted something a little more orange so I found this conditioner and I'm trying it out for the first time on camera which you'll see how it goes. So I started working this through my dry hair because it said it would be a more vibrant color so that's what I'm doing for this part. You can see me using my comb just to brush through the hair as soon as I put the conditioner in. I don't want it to be splotchy or I just want the conditioner to be evenly distributed. So I'm using the comb for that. Once I finally finish coating my hair, I'm going to let this sit for 10 minutes. Shower time! So we're in the shower and now we're going to wash this conditioner off. And I was shook. I had no idea what this color was going to be like. So for my shampoo, I go in with the Tresemme Carrot and Color one. As you can see, guys, if you didn't know this, my mom actually told me this. That the first time you wash your hair, it doesn't suds up as much because your hair is dirty. So if that happens to you. Now we're going in with our second lather. And now y'all finna see the bubbles on my head. Now after that lovely massage, I'm just gonna go rinse out all the shampoo I have. I only do it two times. The first one is not enough and the second time you really get your hair clean. Hair check! I was like, y'all, what the f did I just do to my hair? But I was also really impressed at the fact that the color stayed as well as it said that it was gonna do for a conditioner now I'm going in with some conditioner guys make sure to massage this into your hair otherwise it's not gonna give you that slip that you want and after that I'm kind of just finger detangling and then I'm gonna go in with a regular comb I always make sure to tie my hair up and let my conditioner sit for the rest of my shower and then I go ahead and boom I'm rinsing and look how good my hair looks like I don't see no signs of dryness oh and I changed oh my god what the fuck is that Ew. one more time I'm just going in with my wet brush guys I heavily recommend this brush if you have really knotted hair this really helps to fight breakage basically You guys know the deal, always use a cotton t-shirt to wrap your hair when it's wet. This way, you already know the texture of a towel is going to strip your hair. Now for the styling, I'm going to go ahead and spray this Tresemme heat protectant, tried and true. This is honestly the only one I know. If you guys know any good ones, let me know. After that's done, I'm just going to make sure to comb my hair once again to make sure the product is everywhere. Now for today, I'm just going to go and blow dry my hair. If you guys don't have this tool and you blow dry your hair often, you need it because I finished my hair in 15 minutes and you guys are going to see how it comes out.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and click that bell button so you guys get notified every time I upload a new video. Here is the final look. Cute!